What's going on guys? Welcome back to another unboxing. Before we get to this unboxing though, I want to make a special shout out to my friend, Indiana Hills. You heard that right. His name is Indiana Hills and I am quite jealous. His parents definitely chose wisely with that name. His dad, Stefan, sent me a picture of him eating dinner while, while he was watching one of my videos. So thank you so much for watching, Indiana. You have the most awesome name in the world. Absolutely love it. And I wish you nothing but fortune and glory, my friend. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Indiana Jones Fighter Plane Chase Lego set from Lego. I am so excited about these new Legos coming out. Obviously, this is a take on the previous one they had that was similar to this. The only older one I have was the uh, other old temple one. That's the only one I have. I didn't get into Legos, but now that these are coming out, I'm going to be getting them all. So I have gotten two of each. Obviously, one to open, one to keep in box because I am that collector. I am just so incredibly stoked that we are getting all this new indie merchandise. Like I said, I'm gonna have a ton of unboxing videos here coming up for you guys. We're gonna take a closer look at all of these items that they're coming out with and just having a ton of fun celebrating all this new Indiana Jones stuff. As always, let's get to it. All right, here we go. So we've got the Indiana Jones fighter plane chase Lego set. As you can see here, it comes with Indiana Jones, Professor Henry Jones Sr. and a fighter pilot that goes in the plane here. I am super excited for this. It is a smaller, simpler set, but you know what? It looks like a lot of fun. I'm just happy, like I said earlier, to have some more indie merchandise. Just the other day, we built the Escape from the Lost Tomb, which I absolutely love. That thing is so interactive. So obviously this is smaller, it's not gonna be as interactive, but it looks like a whole lot of fun still. So with that, you got this side panel here. Just kind of shows a little action shot there. Not a whole lot to that side. Here it shows you the actual size of the figures as they do in all the other boxes. And then this same side here, another action shot, same thing as the other side. And then last but not least, everyone's favorite, the Barco side. Right there for you. And then the back side, the big action shot here. Yeah, just that obviously couple little instructions there. Looks like it comes with a little chest. Pretty cool. And there's that scene from Last Crusade where the plane's flying by while they're in the car <laughs> and the pilot's looking at the looking at them like what? So after they go into the tunnel. Love that scene. Alright, well let's dive into this. <laughs> So we are done. As you can see on that in the top right corner over here, those are all the extra pieces you'll get. You get an extra whip, extra pair of goggles for the pilot, a bunch of other little things. So if you have those left over, don't worry, that is supposed to be there. Instruction booklet that you get here. Up first, we got Indiana Jones from The Last Crusade. Obviously, to match movie accuracy, he's got the tie there, got the hat, obviously the hairline. I do like how they're doing the hairline with that. It makes it just look a little better. I've heard people complain about it, but I like it, but that's it. He does not come with the satchel in this one. Then you get Henry Jones Sr. You get a little grail diary right there, as you can see, and here is Henry Jones Sr. Looks pretty good. He does not have a face on the other side. So you also get a suitcase right there. You get his umbrella. And you also get two guns, the spare ones over there. And then this in the instruction booklet tells you to throw that all in there. And then the suitcase fits right there. So here's the pilot. He only has one Actually, does he have, no, yep, one face. Comes with that, comes with the goggles there. The goggles do move up and down. There you go, there's that. There's his backside there. You see Indy with the jacket and the straps there. No satchel. You can put Indy in the car like this. So, car's pretty cool. I already showed you the chest in the back there. Suitcase goes right there. The doors do not open. Rolls pretty good. So then we'll put Senior there. There you go. There's the 
side there. You gotta be careful. That suitcase falls out very easily, so be very mindful of that. Obviously, this can go back and forth like that. So, pretty cool. I took a few breaks making these. Uh, I think altogether, if I would have stayed doing it, probably would have taken me about an hour. Not bad at all. Here's the plane. This is really cool. All right, so, obviously that spins. The wheels spin. You get this little piece back here. This one's a lot of fun. There is a part of this that I really, really enjoy that I'll get to here in a minute. Let's put him in. So he just fits in like that. And then you just put this guy on right back like this. Boom! You have the little flames on the side here. So, all right, my favorite part. These are the little things here. So as you can see, the, you feed the little bullets into here. Tap this guy right here. Whoa, okay, that might have logged. They, they shoot far and fast. Those, if you shoot them off and you don't know where they went, good luck finding them. Then we have the Berlin sign here. It's got the tunnel up ahead, obviously, forewarning, like it does in the, in the movie with the plane and the car scene where the plane is crashes into the tunnel and starts sliding right next to them in the movie. But yeah, that's the sign that goes with it. So. But these, this is set is really cool. Obviously, it's not as interactive as the Escape from the Tomb or the Temple of the Golden Idol, but it's still fun. It's a remake of the previous one they had, and I just think it's done better than the last one. So I highly recommend it. I, I mean, if you're an indie fan, you like Legos, I'd get it. I'm going to be getting them all, obviously. I just need to get the Temple of the Golden Idol, and that'll be it until they release some more, which I really hope they do. I have not heard anything else about the Temple of Doom one that is supposedly canceled or delayed. I'm leaning more towards canceled. So, but we'll see. Once I find out more about that, I will let you guys know. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I got a couple more unboxings we'll be doing here soon. I got a couple more items coming in today. So stay tuned. Have a good rest of your day.